today we're going to have a look at how to take an IC3 exam. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new browser and we're going to go to certiport.com certiport.com okay so at this point it, it's um, appropriate that we explain the few different types of accounts if you're a student and you want to take an exam you use this registration um, form here and you fill it out um, as a student if you're a teacher you need to fill out the same form but you need to follow the instructions for being a proctor a proctor is somebody who um, invigilates exams so each teacher needs to be a proctor so for the teacher once they get to the stage of a proctor they need to notify Paul Tilly from Prodigy Solutions he will then make you an administrator that gives you the ability then to check test results and to print certificates so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assume that the student has registered the teacher has registered as a proctor notified Paul and is now an administrator so what I'm going to do myself is log on as an administrator so I'm going to go to log in okay so I'm now in Certiport in my account it says welcome and it says that I'm a proctor I have the ability to change to organization administrator okay and you will too once you contact Paul and he gets that sorted out for you so click on organization administrator so we need to put some software on our computer now to take these um, exams so the first thing we do is we go to training and tools and then we go to install scroll down the bottom of the page and we need to create a shortcut to launch online exams so we click on that and the testing center is Mead VC the default language is fine and just click on generate link when you have the link generated just minimize the window and drag and drop that on your desktop okay so that's you should then have a shortcut on the desktop now we need to go back and back again and we need to install the browser lockdown now what is a browser lockdown it basically locks the browser so when you get when you start the exam that the student can't go to Google or can't deviate away from the exam they are locked into doing completing that exam you click this link here now I had problems downloading this file um, but if needs be you can drop me an email jpsmith at meadvc and I'll share the file with you on skydrive that's how I got around the problem so yeah I've got a problem you may not have the same problem basically when you get the file down you need to run it okay it's an ex executable file and um, you need to run it and then you need to log off okay so we're finished now we have all the software installed that we need we can log off we can close our browser now we're going to launch our shortcut on the desktop okay in here now we're going to fill in um, a student's name we have a student who has registered um, on Certiport so um, that student Keith Fitzsimons is going to take his first exam so what we do is we type in his username and then password and select so it's internet and computing core certification and we say login 
Okay, the exam we're going to take is so key applications. Ignore the vouchers, you ignore, and then you click next. Just OK this um, JavaScript error. And here you can see the student's name is Keith Simons and the school is St. Oliver's Post Primary School. I am going to act as the proctor. Okay. Um, Keith already started the exam, as I said, and the machine crashed on the last visit. So I have to t give the reason, tick the box, and then put in my details. And the reason the computer crashed on the last time was um, because of this video. When you go into the exam and get into lockdown, you're locked into the exam. So the only way I had of getting out of the exam was actually to restart the computer. So when I press start exam, the exam will start. And to get out of that, the only way I have of getting out of that um, exam is to actually restart the computer to complete the exam or restart it okay so just for illustration purposes that's why that problem was there so <coughs> your computer is going into lockdown and it pops up here you have the first four pages of instructions um, the candidate needs to read those first and then they click on begin exam.